Eugene Wamalwa was born 41 years ago in a political family of the late Senator William Wamalwa. He is the younger brother to the late Vice President Michael Kijana Wamalwa, one of the main pillars of the National Rainbow Coalition, NAC, that swept Kanu out of power after 40 years of dominance. I think Eugene Wamalwa is uh, a simple boy from Saboti at the foot of Mount Elgon. But it is his declaration of interest to become the fourth tenant at State House in 2012 that has made Eugene a subject of critical analysis. His attempt to formally launch his presidential bid last week, a day after the Jamhuri Day celebrations, was met with fumes of tear gas after police cancelled the rally was to address with former Mungiki leader Maina Njenga. He connected the last-minute cancellation of the rally to the hard-hitting statements made against U.S. envoy Michael Ranbagar by the two principals. Na pesa hizi zao kutoka inchi tofauti ambazo wana pretend ni za kusaidia watu. Hapana. Wao wana tudanganya. This government started leaking of corruption long before Wikileaks came along. So it's really stating the obvious. The first time Saboti parliamentarian contends that the cancellation was not a surprise. His previous attempt to stage a similar rally in Bungoma early this year faced similar treatment. During the Bungoma rally, Eugene was to be endorsed for the country's top seat by President Kibaki's eldest son, Jimmy. What is fresh about the start, if we are retaining the same old players? Why don't we get fresh leaders to come in, leaders who have not been implicated or been involved in corruption in this country? Critics have questioned Eugene's seriousness in seeking the presidency in 2012 and even termed him an untested and inexperienced political player. Ukiwa baba, na umetoa viatu umewacha pale. Na unarudi jioni, unapata kakijana kako kama weka miguka na tembea, kanacheza na viatu. Unachukua kibogo unazwa kuchapa uyo mtoto. Kwa hiyo yapo, Eugene pia, we jaribu tu na mnayo kufaa viatu na ku. The old guard, uh, we, we, when they laugh at me, they, or when they spite my candidate, they spite the young people. But we are telling them that uh, uh, the, the time has come. Drawing parallels to the historic triumph of U.S. President Barack Obama, Eugene hopes to consolidate the youth that makes up over 70% of the country's voters. Generational change is what Eugene and his team are pushing for. When President Kibaki goes home to Othaya uh, to retire, we are urging uh, uh, the old guard to give way to a younger generation of leaders to come in. But therein lies the challenge for Eugene and his group. His association with former Mungiki leader Maina Njenga has raised eyebrows due to the atrocities alleged to have been committed by the proscribed sect. Is Maina Njenga his running mate and doesn't he fear that the Mungiki factor could ruin his presidential bid? And he has said he's not interested in political office. He's not interested in uh, being my running mate. Observers, however, say Eugene will, in the course of his presidential bid, have to contend with claims that he's perpetuating politics of dynasty and riding on the fame of his late brother. Before Kijana Amalwa died, who was Eugene Amalwa? Remove the name Amalwa, Eugene, and call him Eugene Wanyama. Eh? A, a, a lumpen from uh, some a pukusu lumpen from somewhere in in Kakamega, who went to university and he learned, and now he wants to lead us. Would we be considering him? Eugene Wamalo has been associated with the political alliance revolving around youthful leaders such as Eldoret North MP William Ruto, Deputy Prime Minister Uhuru Kenyatta, and Vice President Kalonzo Musyoka. Whether it can hold till 2012 remains the ultimate question. Francis Gashuri Sunday Live.